Hey what's up you guys, installing a trailer hitch on your Ford F-150 can take you to some really cool places like biking, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that really easy install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. First, to give us a little bit more room for this install, we're going to lower our spare tire using the spare tire kit that comes with our truck. So our hitch will be installed on the inside of both of our frames, so we need to clear out a couple things that are in the way. On the passenger side, we're going to start by removing this ground. We're going to remove this bolt using a 10 millimeter socket. Now on our driver's side on the inside frame, we need to remove these two wiring harnesses from it. It's just held on by a couple clips. We're gonna use a trim panel tool and just pry it off. And we'll just let those hang there for now. Now we're ready to bring our hardware into place. Each side comes with two carriage bolts and two spacer blocks. Now they need to be fish wired into the frame. So we're gonna bring our bolts into this most rear hole right here and this hole right here underneath this harness. Now, to bring those into place, we're gonna use this larger hole to pull our fish wires through into those holes. Let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So to fish wire our bolts, first we're gonna take our fish wire, we're gonna push it through our first attachment hole towards the rear, and we're going to push it through the frame towards our access hole. And as you push it in, you'll just have to reach into it for it, and you'll find that coiled end. Now we're gonna take our carriage bolt and block, and we're going to thread it onto that fish wire. Now making sure we don't lose our fish wire in the frame, we're gonna take our block and we're gonna push that in first, followed by our bolt. And then we're gonna pull it all the way through. And on our forwardmost hole, we're gonna repeat the same steps. and then we'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now we're going to install some spacers that will be installed in between our hitch and our frame. First we have this U-block that will go on our rearmost bolt, and then we have another spacer block that will be installed on our forwardmost bolt. Now to hold it into place in between our hitch in this, we're just going to have them either taped or dangling on our fish wires. On our forwardmost bolt, we're just gonna pull our fish wire and we're gonna thread it through our spacer block. And we're just gonna pull it all the way through like that. Now for our U spacer, we're just going to line it up on the side like so. And then using any type of tape, we're just gonna hold it into place. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side, making sure that our U-block doesn't cover the hole for our ground. So now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. Now before we raise it all the way, we're gonna take our fish wires and we're gonna pull it through its matching hole. Then we're gonna to need to push all of our bolts slightly into the frame so we can line up our hitch with all the holes. And then we'll repeat on the other side. So now we're gonna reattach our ground post. We're gonna go through this hole right here where we can see that existing hole. And we're gonna to have to take our ground and we have this tab on it. We're just gonna to have to bend it flat. Now we're gonna take our new bolt, we're gonna pull it through our ground, and then we're going to attach it. And then we'll tighten it using a 13 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna remove all of our fish wires, being careful not to knock our bolts back into the frame, and installing our four flange nuts. and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. With everything in place, we're gonna tighten all of our bolts and flange nuts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna be using a 15th, 16th socket.
and then we'll reinstall the spare tire. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 18 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.